The amazing Shai DeLuca is here to take us through some of the most common rather mistakes when it comes to painting. We've all made them. Yeah. Let's take a look. We have five mistakes and then fixes foils and fixes foils and fixes so actually I put it out there to my clients because it makes it's really um, interesting to see how people kind of look at painting and the mistakes that they made and then people get always get really stressed right away and oh my god I got to repaint no and it's so expensive and it's time consuming so yes. don't make the mistake okay number one let's take a look at this foil right. as it were right there's the mistake so well so the thing is is that um, how do you choose the correct paint color when you've already painted something all over your house so you know we, there's so many colors out there and people are talking about what colors on trend you've painted something now you're stuck with it what do you do how do you make sure you don't do that yeah planning so let's pull up the the uh, the correction and what you want to do is what we interior designers do is a mood board okay. and a mood board is going to be your easiest way to kind of get the entire look in front of you so you understand what works with what so for example here I notice you have a neutral palette yeah. you choose either your beiges or your grays right. and then you have accent colors correct and, and this is an easy way to do it but you could be like me and love color everywhere but can't really kind of if you can't visualize how it is that the colors are going to work together mm. then a great way to do it is to create a mood board or I went out and got this yesterday I mean I think this is fantastic it's an interior design color wheel they didn't have this when I was in school and this is actually quite cool because it'll give you the color and then it'll give you what it's complement to and split complementary so cute. it'll choose your color for you very nice yeah really cool okay let's take a uh, at another mistake this yeah. is number two right a mistake that a lot of us make when it comes to painting is saturated color a lot of saturated color and me I'm looking at this palette and it makes me so happy but sometimes people you know looking at, at the color the saturated colors that we have here do it over the top in their homes and then they're like oh my god it's too much for example I wanted a red room because I thought it'd be so cool to go scarlet red uh, throughout university yeah. I didn't end up painting it because I read it actually actually induces anxiety and you should go for softer blues and that greens. That is so funny you say that because that's going to be one of the other ones that we were, oh, we're no going to actually, yeah, we're going to look at. So the fix to this is if you did do your saturated color on the wall and you're not repainting, tone it down with neutral furniture, neutral fabrics, neutral accents. Or paint some of the walls white so you have just the one accent. Correct, wall. correct. You could absolutely do that as well. Okay. So let's go to number three. So number three is kind of um, losing sight of your house as a whole. So when you stand in your house and you're kind of like looking at the different rooms, whether it's open concept or not, like in the photo that we see here, people oftentimes forget, well, you know what? that room transitions into something else. They connect. They need, there needs to be a connection. So if you've already painted your rooms and let's say you've done it like, I like to call it like the white house. So there's the red house, the, or the red room, the blue room, the green room. How do you tie those in together? Through your accessories. So pull something red into the green room, pull something blue into the red room, mm -hmm. and there'll be that cross kind of uh, cross, flow. Um, cross flow. Thank okay, you very much. Okay, number four. Let's take yeah. a look at this image. So number four, and this is going back to what you were talking about, is like losing your emotional self into your choice that you make. So mm -hmm. A red bedroom. A red bedroom is beautiful to look at, but oh my god, I'm looking at it, it's like, ah, it's like screaming all over the place. It, I'm not going to be able to relax. I'm okay. not going to be able to sleep. So make sure you choose, let's go to the solution, make sure you choose a color based on what the actual function of the room is going to be. So there are color wheels out there which will tell you if you're a bedroom, if you're, you know, bathroom, if you're whatever, what colors work best in those spaces based on the emotion. Number five. Number five. So the mistake in number five is going to be um, being on trend. So we, we always talk about you don't have to always be on trend and it's really expensive to always be on trend. Um, me, I love a lot of saturated color, but that's something that's kind of going out of trend right now and yeah. we're doing more neutral. So you should really kind of follow at least so you know what's happening on trend because if you're not on trend or if you have everything that's not on trend you're gonna find yourself constantly wanting to change it and it gets expensive. The two go-to colors that you always use yes. that are fail safe. Fail safe so if you have a more cooler uh, palette at home you want to use Chantilly Lace, Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace and if you have a warmer palette uh, Simply White by Benjamin Moore which is the color of the year. You can't go wrong put it everywhere and then you could use accents for color like, like this lamp by the way this lamp I can't even get over it has the charger I know so you have what a bright idea <laughs> you have a light and you can charge your phone yeah. <laughs> and if should you so desire you can do one of these I love her. <laughs> You're the best. ShyDeLuca.com. <laughs> oh, yes. Kev, it's a bright idea. Over to you. Uh, hey, Shy. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. Shy? Yes. Shy? Uh, cheer up. Oh, yeah. Why so glum? Cheer up. I know. Why so, oh, so glum? His Sorry. shirt says it all. Kev. I, it's, you know, wait, he's a party. Wait, come over here on the back side. You'll see what it says over there. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure having Shy in. I